Hey guys, it's Ari, back again with another video. Hey guys, it's Ari, back again with another video, and today... I'm giving you a chit chat, get ready with me, slash hair tutorial again. Um, I asked you guys in my community tab, and I also asked you guys on live last night what topics you want me to talk about in this video. And the majority wanted me to talk about how I'm always, you know, you know, coming off as positive. Basically, how to stay positive. How to stay positive, you know, because we, you know, we all go through different life situations that make it very hard to stay positive, especially when it affects your life in such a drastic way. And then you got, you know, all these people in your ear, you know, trying to put in their two cents, trying to seem important. You know when they're not even helping your life so it's really hard to stay positive in different situations well um in this video i'm just going to be talking to you as i show you how to do this very simple kind of like mommy friendly um hair tutorial um featuring sunburn hair now i know y'all have probably heard about sunburn hair because they are all over youtube let me tell you they is popping their hair company is popping um they sent me Brazilian wavy and they sent me a 22 a 24 and a 26 bundle with a closure now today I'm going to be showing you how I installed the clip-ins that I made out of the hair if you want a detailed um, tutorial on how to actually make clip-ins I can do that but it's honestly super easy like it's not even it's so easy like there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube I feel like on it but if you want me specifically to make one then you know like this video comment and, you know I'll do it so yeah so y'all are probably like, girl, your hair is straight. I've never seen your hair straight before. I'll show y'all my length. It's actually like five days old. That's why my edges are super puffy and um, stuff. But I'm about to show y'all the length. So this is how long my hair is. It's like bra strap length. Well, a little past bra strap actually, but yeah, this is how long my hair is. Like, this is my bra strap, and this is where my hair is. So, I'll show y'all. Ooh, can y'all see? Ooh, all right. And so, if I put it forward, it's not brushed or anything. That's why it looks all like how it is. But if it's, it's like past my nipple area, almost almost past it's almost past it's getting there it's getting there it's getting there hopefully after this pregnancy your girl will be rapunzel okay i'm just gonna go ahead and get on with the tutorial the things that you will need to do this is obviously a brush a clip a, a comb and heat protectant if your hair isn't already straight so yeah so here are the clip-ins that I made I made these clip-ins out of the 22 inch bundle that they got this isn't even the full 22 inch bundle I still have the rest of the 22 inch bundle right here so this is out of some of the hair from the 22 inch bundle so this is basically what the hair looked like it's like in a I think this hair is in 1b so this is what it looks like very smooth I washed it before I made the clip-ins and it's just you know really nice quality hair this hair is not straightened it's been blow-dried because I feel like it's just gonna match my hair better not fully straight but just blow dry that's why I got the um, body wave because my hair is thick I feel like if I would have got the straight then it would have um, been too thin you know for my hair so Keep that in mind like keep in mind what your hair thickness is because with clip-ins it's all about being natural and looking natural so that's why I got the body wave so I'm gonna be putting three clip-ins into my hair I'm going to be putting um, this they're all they all have three clips sewed on them so I thought maybe it was there was one right across the street from Target so I was just like okay that was my madre. By the way, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. This is my first Mother's Day being a mother! Woo! My little baby is still in my stomach, but 
still a mother today. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there, all the pregnant women out there, all the stepmothers, all the grandmothers, you know, all the mothers. Any woman who has stepped up to the role of motherhood, I salute you because it is hard out here for us, honey. It is hard, but we are strong and we do what we got to do because of the love in our hearts that we have for these children out here so yeah anyway let's continue with the video so yeah i have three pieces one sh kind of shorter piece for right above my ear a long piece and then a shorter piece for around this area i didn't want to do too many clips because once you do too many your hair starts to look really thick up here and then really weird at the bottom so yeah you want to keep it you know short and sweet so I'm just gonna go ahead and brush my hair. Basically, a lot of y'all just wanted to know how I, you know, managed to stay positive despite everything I'm going through, despite, you know, the stereotypes and, you know, everything that everybody tried to put on me. Um, just because I'm African-American, I'm pregnant and I'm not married, but I am an adult, so I don't even see why it matters. Anyways, but what you have to do is you have to be confident in yourself you got to believe in who you are despite what everybody else is saying because number one i got i have eight other people that are taking care of me i have eight other people that love me and eight other people that are taking care of me and none of the people who are saying negative things none of the people who are trying to put in their input none of those people are doing anything to help me so at the end of the day why does it matter you know they really can't affect how i'm thinking about my situation also with that being said you got to know what you believe in like i said as a christian i believe in god and i believe that you know everything happens for a reason like there there are blessings in store for me you know what i'm saying it's not the end of the world that i am pregnant I've, i have there are girls that you know dm me message me you know asking me like they're saying i'm pregnant i don't know what i'm gonna do like i feel like such a failure oh my god honey you gotta change your perspective yeah yes it's not it's not you know it wasn't planned or anything but in order to get through this you gotta change your whole perspective on the situation that's the only way you're gonna get through it plan or not babies are a blessing you got to plan or not, they are still a blessing, okay? So with that being said, you are get, you've are been gifted. You've been handed a gift. You've been handed a gift from God, okay? So that in itself means that you're blessed and highly favored. So if you um, thank God for the blessing and move on with your life despite, you know, any mistakes that you made, God is going to bless you regardless. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to be good. You're going to be good. The only way you're not going to be good is if you let your situation, um, if you let it not be good. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I need spray heat protecting. Make sure you spray heat protecting on your head. So that your hair is not burnt after this. Because this is the second time going over my hair with the, with the straightener. So, you know, it can't be burnt. I'm just going to do like these front pieces. I'm not going to do everything else. So, you just got to cut out all negativity, honestly. If whoever's talking isn't like helping you, or doing anything to really benefit you, then their opinion doesn't matter. Like, they really shouldn't have nothing to say because they're not helping you. And, you know, the only reason that they're saying all this stuff is, you know, to feel better about themselves. Because, like I said, I'm happy. So, when people who aren't happy see that I'm happy, they try to, you know, try to elevate themselves by trying by putting me down. When, when the gag is, they're not elevating themselves. They're, <laughs> by, by being jealous and by trying to say, oh, like somebody tried to say that I was being... Somebody tried to say that I was being rewarded because my because my parents got me a car. I told y'all. I told y'all that I have all the support that I need and that I have people that are going to stick by me who try to say, oh my God, you're a single mother. You have no support. Oh my God. 
And I said in my head, I said, you know what? God got me. You know what? God got me. I'm not going to listen to what people have to say. God got me. You know what I'm saying? I had that in my head and I didn't listen to what people were saying because I know who got me. I know who got me. You know what I'm saying? And so now that, you know, God made the way for my parents to, you know, get me a car because I want to be able to take my baby places. I want to be able to do things with my baby. You know what I'm saying? Now that God made a way for that to happen, now all of a sudden, now all of a sudden, oh, it's, you're being rewarded for getting pregnant out of wedlock. <laughs> Ew, why did I make that voice? Oh, you're being rewarded for being pregnant out of wedlock. Like, what? You sound stupid, sis. You sound stupid. You're mad because I have support? You're mad because I have a support. The whole point of me saying that is like people are gonna have something to say regardless. You know what I'm saying? It, even when you prove them wrong, they're still gonna have something to say because you you know why? Because they're jealous and they're trying to elevate themselves over you. They're mad that they don't have what you have. You know what I'm saying? They're mad that they don't have what you have. So they're gonna try to you know make themselves seem better than you by putting you by like trying to bring up things that you already know. You're pointing out the obvious. Like, you're pointing out the obvious. Obviously, I'm pregnant and I'm not married. But obviously, I have support and you're mad. You know what I'm saying? Like, what are your parents like? Let me know because that must be the real issue. Why are you mad that I have parents that support me? People are always going to have stuff to say. So, you can't let that affect your mood. You know what I'm saying? You can't let that. Because all they're doing, they think that they're making themselves feel better by saying things about you. But really all they're doing by being jealous of that they by being jealous of you they're missing out on their blessing. And they don't know that, which is the sad part. Which is the sad part. They're trying to make you sad, but really they're living a sad life by being jealous of you. So that's the real secret that people aren't aware of. Like like, God really wants to bless all of us so bad, but some of y'all just won't let him because you will continue to talk about somebody that is blessed by God, that is favored by God. My mom always told me, don't talk about God's children. Don't do that. Because God don't like it when people, you know, do things to his followers. Anyway. So yeah, so basically, number one, you can't listen to what anybody says. Number two, you got to know what you believe in despite what anybody says. You got to know in your heart what your life is actually like. Okay? You got to know in your heart what your life is actually like and what you actually have. Despite what people are saying. Because it's so easy to, you know, fall, fall into despair and fall into depression all the time. That's the easy way out, y'all. That's the easy way out. It's hard to be positive. I'm telling you, I'm not positive all the time. There are times where I just be like, where I be upset because it's not that I'm upset about my situation. I'm just more upset that because I don't know what to expect sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was praying for a car, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know when God was going to bless me with a car. I did not know. So that's why I be upset because like on journeys you sometimes you just don't know what's gonna happen next like you're like yeah i know god got me but what's gonna happen next you know what i'm saying so that's why i be up, i be upset sometimes but in order to have a prosperous future in or in order to get blessed later you gotta thank god for what you got now you can't expect god to bless you and elevate you and you're not grateful for what you got right now in this day by being grateful for what you got right now that's gonna show god that you, like you're humble and you know that he has you because that's all god wants he just wants you to know that he has you you know what i'm saying so okay i think that even though it's not you know as straight as it could be i don't think i want to take you know, the flat iron. Keep putting the flat iron through my hair. 
because uh, I don't plan on having my hair straight much longer anyway but I will you know do this little piece again I think this piece of my hair he damaged already anyway so I don't even I don't even care I told y'all I'm not a natural hair guru even though my hair long girl I'm not a natural hair guru okay I'm not do not put me in that category because I will fail you but yeah so boom 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 so it's straight the whole point is it's straight enough for me to put the clip-ins in now at first it was just so puffy at the top and all that but it's now it's straight enough for me to put the clip-ins in so that's you know that's all I needed for it to be all right so now that we're straight what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically here's where I'm gonna start my clip-ins that's why it, when you make your clip-ins you want to make sure that you make them so that you know where you're gonna put them you know what I'm saying like you want to make sure you're measuring it on your head and stuff anyway that's a whole nother video for when I show you how I make clip-ins but <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do I have my clip-ins they're all brushed out or whatever let me rebrush them you know do, do, do. I told y'all I have three of them so this is the first one it's like a short little track you know what I'm saying it looks real thin but I mean you want your clippings to be natural you want it to just be a look like a little extension but still look like your natural hair thickness and all that so that's why you know I didn't load the tracks up with length you know what I'm saying so I mean with thickness because I could have did two tracks together you know what I'm saying so yeah so what you want to do is you basically want to take your fingers or a comb let me turn the straightener off before I forget. Okay, so you want to take your fingers. I'm going to, this first one is going to go above the ear. So I'm just going to take this. And I'm going to like put them behind my head until my fingers touch each other. And then I'm just going to like grab the top piece that's been made. Like this, like boom. This part back here probably isn't even straight, but it doesn't matter. Because clip-ins, they don't have to be, you know, on a straight part and all that. Because it doesn't really matter. So, then I'm just going to take this clip. I don't know what these type of clips call. They look like little alligators to me. Are they called alligator clips? Comment down below. but Because that's what they look like. But yeah, so I'm just going to clip my hair up. Boom. Ha, ha, ha. And then, you know, I'm just going to clip it in. So, I have the clips. Make sure the clips are open. Looks like the clips are open already. So... I'm just going to take it, I like to clip the middle piece on first, feel where the part is, clip it down, clip it down, just get it on the ground. And when you make your clip ends, you want to make sure that you don't make them so that the clip comes all the way up front here because that's not going to be natural, you're not going to be able to like flip your hair and stuff, you know what I'm saying? So boom. So if I zoom out so y'all can see. That's what it's just looking like. Boom. Boom. And I'm going to go above that piece. I'm not going to go all the way to the top, but I'm going to go above that piece. And I'm going to do the same thing. Like, you want to let some hair kind of cover those clips. And then go a little bit above. Drop the clip in. This is going to be the longest piece because... This is like the longest part of my head. But yeah, at the end of the day, all you have is yourself. You know, you have people that support you and everything, but you know, they can't help you, you know, stay happy. You know, if you're, happiness comes from in you. Nobody else can make you happy. So you might as well find happiness with yourself, except you only have one life. So you, you kind of got to accept what, what gets thrown your way. You know what I'm saying? despite what anybody else thinks because they're not living your life oh you can only live your life only you can live it you know what i'm saying nobody can live your life for you so there we go who hit it's blending very nicely i'm glad i got the wavy kind because it blends nicely with my hair so next i'm going to do it again but this time i'm going to go higher Oop, alligator clip was backwards. And then this last little, little track. 
make sure the clips are open and then you know feel where the part is and then start clipping it on there clip the middle piece Oop, clip Oop, clip you know and it may not be as neat as you want it to be but like i said all that really doesn't matter like it doesn't matter you just gotta make sure them clips feel comfortable in your head. That's all that really matters. And then you can let your hair down, make sure that all the clips are covered. I think they're all covered though. And then you can, you know, comb it, brush it or whatever. You see like, the clips are not showing because the clips didn't come all the way to the front of my head. I still have my edges right here, you know what I'm saying? Now there will have like be little few hairs snatched in the clips, but you just gotta continue to rub your hands through your hair until like, you know, all the hair is covering the clips and like no hair is being snatched anymore. And like the more you brush your hair, the more, the better it'll get. Anyway, let me adjust my part again. But yeah, your your hair should feel comfortable. It shouldn't feel like you have like 10,000 bundles in your head. It should feel really light and like, yeah, so let me show y'all. This is what my hair looks like. Doesn't it look just like thicker and better, you know, at the ends than before? So, I think it looks really good, really natural. I can put my hair behind my ear. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Put my hair behind my ear. I can flip it, not have to worry about no, nothing showing because it's not even that many clips in my head. And it just looks good. So yeah guys, all the details of this hair will be in the description box down below if you want to check out Slumber Hair. Thank you Slumber Hair for sending me this. This hair is bomb. This hair is bomb. If you want to collab again, let me know, let me know, let me know. So yeah guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit the notification button so that you can be a part of the notification squad because the area I'm using on the come up and we're taking over YouTube one video at a time. Always remember, don't stress, honey. Stay blessed. I'm out. Bye.